Hey guys and welcome back. Today's video is my new beauty products for the month of May. I don't even know where April went because it feels like five minutes since I've done one of these before. This video is actually going to be a little bit more selective than my normal um, new and beauty videos because there are so many releases this month. I feel like I've cherry picked the very best bits from each collection and also um, things that I think you guys would be really excited to see. So kind of buzzy new launches and I'm just going to be giving you my thoughts on them. So as per usual, I'm starting off on the low end side of things. And the first thing that caught my eye this month was the fact that Bioderma have launched their micellar wipes in the UK. I believe these have been available in Paris or in Paris, in France, and probably throughout um, some other countries in Europe for quite a while, but these are coming to the UK. I personally am not that crazy about them. I prefer the simple ones, but they are really good, and if you are a die-hard Bioderma fan, you may want to pick some of these up. And then another launch that I'm a little bit more excited about from Bioderma is the Eau de Soie Spray. Now this is an SPF water mist, and Spray SPFs aren't really anything new um, in terms of the body. The ones that you kind of spray on and then you have to rub them in, that's not new, but this is new because you don't have to rub it in and you can apply it over makeup. So if you want to top up your SPF throughout the day, this is really good. The mist is really fine. The one thing I would say about it is that it's a little bit sticky. But it does leave you with a little bit of a sticky feel and a slight sheen to it as well, which isn't ideal, but this is a really, really interesting product, and if you're into SPF, into Bioderma, definitely check this out, because um, it's really cool, actually, and I'll definitely be using it loads in the summer. I feel like it's such a good beach product. You just be like, yeah, done. A few other launches from Soap & Glory, who are one of my favourite um, high street brands. The first one is their Shower Jelly. Um, they have two different scents in this. This is the original pink, which is their signature fragrance, and they also have the, is it Sugar Crush? The lime one, the green one, anyway. I quite like this actually, it's quite different to a normal shower gel, as the name would suggest, it is a jelly, it's a little bit more solid, so I personally like to use it on um, a shower puff or like a loofah and really work it in and it foams up, smells nice, it's really cooling as well, it's the one thing that I found to be different about it, it's quite a nice kind of summer product. And then they're also launching a whole new collection of lipsticks, I believe there are like 25 different shades, they're £9 each, so I think that's quite expensive for a high street lipstick, but they do have this um, quite pretty metallic packaging. I've got three of the colours, I've got a pink, a red and a nude, and the nude colour that I have is Naked Talent. And this is such a nice colour, it's a really gorgeous, slightly mauvey nude colour. They smell like vanilla, similar to the Gloss Sticks, which are some of my favourite lip products that they also do. So far I've actually been really impressed with the formula as well, it's kind of creamy, um, and nice. They do have different formulas. That one is satin. They also have shine and matte, I think. But um, yeah, they're really nice lipsticks. If you're looking for a new kind of high street lipstick, they have loads of different colours. I haven't seen all of the colours together, but the formula seems really nice. So that's new from Soap and Glory. Another skincare release I wanted to talk to you about was the La Roche Posay new release. This is the Amphelios XL Tinted Dry Touch Gel Cream. This is a really cool product, especially for those of you with oily skin. For me, it's probably a bit too matte for every day, but I think it would be really good on holiday when you tend to get a bit um, more oily and shiny. It's got SPF 50 and it has, I would say it's like a light coverage foundation, but for a tinted moisturiser, it's a pretty decent coverage. And yeah, I was just really impressed with this actually. It has UVA and UVB protection and yeah, it has pretty good coverage. I think this would be a really good holiday product. There's also a new body lotion from Garnier. There are a few um, things in this collection. I think there's like either two or three products, but this is the face and body. I would not use this on my face, just throwing it out there. Multi-purpose soothing balm with delicate oats. Um, I really like this. I don't know if this is an entirely new product, because I'm not that familiar with the Garnier range, or if this is just a new scent, but I absolutely love the texture of this. As the name would suggest, it's kind of like a balmy texture, but I, what I really like about it is that it's instantly absorbed. It kind of leaves like a really nice natural matte finish. It's not greasy at all, and it just feels really smooth and soft and looks really nice, and it smells lovely as well. If you don't like kind of over the top, very, very strong, heady scents, then you might like this, because it's more, of a kind of delicate, slightly less kind of in-your-face scent. I mean, delicate oat and oat milk and white almond cream 
sounds delicious, it smells delicious. The summer collection from Kiko has also come out this month, which I was excited about because it looks so beautiful. It's called the Desert Dunes collection and it's actually quite big, they have a lot of products and it's quite hit and miss. If you guys aren't familiar with Kiko, you probably should check it out because they generally are a really good, affordable brand. They kind of feel like expensive products but they're not, which is always a brilliant combination. And I have three favourites from the collection. The first one is the eyeliner, which I actually included in last month's monthly favourites video, so go and check that out if you want to see that. But then there's also two other things, the first one being um, a Lust Coral, or the Lust Coral blusher, and I really like this because it's a baked blush, which I'm not normally a massive fan of baked products, but I really like this one. It has kind of a pale corally colour, more of a kind of bronzy one and then a pinkier one um, all together, and you can kind of obviously pick and choose what colours you want to use. The packaging is really beautiful, it's like this kind of golden shimmery it's very premium looking and it's not very expensive um and then the other thing that i really like is the lipstick in mirage i'm actually wearing this today but just tapped on my lips really really gently and this is a kind of really pretty it's like slightly mauvey pinky color it does have like a slight shine to it but if you tap it into your lips like i've done today it's just like a really pretty sheer wash of kind of semi matte color and i really like that a lot again they're really affordable so it's worth checking out their summer collection um if you're looking for something even a gift as well this would be a really nice gift because they do look really kind of premium and they're not too expensive the last thing from the high street are two brow launches the first one being from maybelline they've launched this big chunky brow crayon which is called brow drama crayon yeah or pomade crayon these are definitely a love hate kind of products because the chunky crayons are kind of like a waxy brow crayon they're really good if you have big gaps in your brows as well or if you're kind of in a bit of a hurry if you want to do anything precise you probably won't like these because they're a little bit more um kind of just quick slick on they're not so precise obviously because it's a big kind of chunky brow crayon. I've obviously only used this a couple of times because it's new. I also think it might be quite tricky once they start to go a bit more blunt because you can't really sharpen these pencils. Um, but there's another brow product launching from Barry M which is called It's a Brow Thing which I think is a rubbish name. But the product's actually really interesting. It's a brow powder but it has like a little sponge applicator. I've used this one but it's actually a little bit dark for my brows so I ended up with like hardcore like black eyebrows um, which is not necessarily a good look but um, it's actually a really really nice product I like the way it applies it's got a really slim kind of sponge applicator and you can write like really get in and fill in any gaps as well as being quite precise because it's a powder and then brush it out and it just leaves a really kind of soft look to your brows I really like that actually so moving on to high-end stuff the first thing I want to talk to you about is the finally free lipstick from MAC this is really exciting because it's a collaboration with Caitlyn Jenner it's not part of the Viva Glam collection, but it is still a charity lipstick, so it has the same kind of principle as Viva Glam um, in the sense that 100% of the RRP minus VAT goes to charity, um, but it isn't to the Viva Glam charity, it's to a transgender charity or to help transgender people in the UK, is what the press release said. Um, it didn't say a specific charity, so I don't know if they work with individuals or whatever. I'm sure there's probably more info on their website if you wanna have a look at that, but the color itself is gorgeous it is the nicest kind of mauvey it's like a deep mauve kind of plummy nude color i think my mum would love this i'm gonna have to try and stop her from stealing it from me because it's like the perfect color for her um it's a gorgeous texture as well it's a cream sheen formula so i'm really loving that and then clarence have launched a whole summer collection this month and it's quite a big one i wasn't really that into any of the color products necessarily but there were two things that stood out to me the first one being the fix makeup spray now, this bottle is really not very big, it's 50ml, so I feel like in comparison to a lot of the other makeup sprays on the market, it might be quite expensive, mil for mil, but I love it. It's got the finest mist spray on it of any other spray I've ever used. It smells of roses, it's really refreshing. Um, I'm actually a big fan of it, and I didn't think I would be, but um, yeah, big fan of that. And then the other thing that they're launching that I think will get people really excited is the Eclat Minute, or Instant Light, sorry, I'm reading the French version, um, lip comfort oil in the tinted colour. This is called Red Berry and it doesn't have the same scent as the original um, Instant Light lip oil. It's got like a berry scent instead of that kind of like burnt vanilla sugar kind of scent 
but really nice and I think people go crazy for that because people love the lip oil, me included. There are a couple of high-end skincare launches coming out this month as well. The first one actually came out at the end of April, but I've been really liking it so I wanted to include it. It's the Lancome Energy De Vie. Um, this is actually a liquid moisturiser, so they have a whole collection. They have the sleeping mask, the pearly lotion, and the liquid moisturiser. I haven't tried these two yet, but I've heard good things about them from other bloggers. Um, so I'm going to try those out. But I've been using this actually for almost two weeks now, and I really like it. Like, I didn't think I was going to like it, because I was kind of like, is this a bit of a gimmick? It's kind of a liquid moisturiser. It's kind of like a serum texture. Um, but I've been really liking it, and I think it will be a really nice product for spring and summer as well because it's quite fresh and cooling to use. It's basically the same thing as a moisturiser, it's meant to kind of really hydrate your skin and leave it smooth and glowing and yeah, I really like that actually. Another face wipe release that's coming out this month is from Clinique. These are the Take the Day Off Micellar Towelettes and these are a little bit more expensive than the Bioderma ones but you do get 50 in a pack and I actually really like these, I think they're a little bit more effective. They're also quite big in size as well. And I have to say, I'm, I'm not normally a fan of the Clinique Take the Day Off. Like, I don't really like the, bar, the cleansing balm. Um, but I do like these. Face wipes are a love-hate thing. I travel a lot, so I do tend to use them quite a bit, like on planes and stuff. Um, and I also like taking my mascara off with them a lot of the time as well, and not having to like get like all my black mascara in my cleanser on my face. But um, I really like them, and I really like these ones. I think they're good. Next up is the latest addition to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting collection. Everyone loves the powders. I haven't met anyone that doesn't love the powders and the highlighters and the blushes and everything. Um, so they're introducing light correcting primers to their collection. I've got two of them. There are actually three. Um, I've got Mood Light and Luminous Light and I've tried them both over the past couple of weeks. I'm not entirely sure about the texture of these. They are quite drying in in kind of texture. If you have oily skin, I really think you would like them. If you have slightly drier skin, I like them when I've used a nice moisturiser underneath. If I try and put them on like a couple of hours after I've moisturised my skin, they tend to sit a little bit funny on my skin. They do actually make a really nice companion product to the Lancome Energy De Vie um, liquid moisturiser. That's quite nice if you put it on like a minute after that. It, this product like sits really nicely and your skin kind of just glows really beautifully. But they're not the easiest products um, to get along with. I found the texture to be a little bit drying. However, I think if you have oily skin it might be a different story. Another release that's coming out this month um, that I want to tell you about is the new Charlotte Tilbury mascara. There's a lot of hype about this because obviously it's Charlotte Tilbury, there's a lot of hype about any release from Charlotte Tilbury. But I've got to say I'm not a fan of this. It's the Legendary Lashes and I wanted to love this because when you put it on it makes your lashes look insane. But on me, it just smudges and like transfers onto my lids and under my eyes in the same way that Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara does. So I feel like this might be a love-hate thing. Um, if the Too Faced one doesn't run on you, maybe this one won't run on you because I don't normally have a problem with mascaras running at all, um, but this and the Too Faced, I just really have a problem with it. So um, yeah, I wasn't a fan of that, but you might be because it does make your lashes look amazing, it just doesn't last on me. And then there have been quite a lot of fragrance launches this month, but I picked my favourite three um, for this video. The first is Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. They bring this out every year as a whole collection. Uh, I actually got this a few weeks ago, and as you can tell, I really like it. I've used up like nearly a quarter of it already. It smells like sun cream and beaches and the holidays and just... It smells amazing. Yeah, it smells like summer. I feel like it's such a classic now as well. If you haven't already smelt it and don't know what it smells like, you need to go and check it out. But a lot of people will already love this. They do have a whole collection that comes out with Bronze Goddess every year. And this year, there's only one thing that I would say you have to check out. And it is the Blush Highlighter and Bronzer Trio. I actually don't have it. But next time I'm going past an Estee Lauder counter, I'm making a beeline to see if I can get my hands on one because it's that same formula that they brought out a couple of years ago in the highlighter, that really, really gorgeous shimmery highlighter. And it's in that weird, like, slightly bounce back, I think they call it like a gel, jelly or something like that, um, texture. So nice, really, really gorgeous. All of the other products, nice, but nothing that kind of really made me go, oh my god, I need that, except for the fragrance and the trio. Um, and then Jo Malone have their spring fragrance out which is in the cutest packaging. This is Nashi Blossom. And I've included this in this video because even though it's floral, they bring out like a blossom fragrance every spring. And most of the time I don't really like them because I'm not 
that into my floral fragrances. Whereas this is really different. It has that really like kind of soft floral element to it, but then it also has like a sharpness to it that kind of makes it a little bit less kind of granny-ish. I find a lot of blossom fragrances are quite granny-ish, but this one isn't and I really like it. And everyone that has smelt it when I've been there has been like, oh, I really like that. And then Marc Jacobs have also launched a collection of fragrances that look like this, which is quite a simple looking packaging for Marc Jacobs. Normally they're really out there. Um, they have launched Cucumber Pear, Rain, and there's another one, and I can't, Cotton. This one is Cucumber, which is my favourite. If you like your gin and tonic, you might like this, because it has that same kind of very like crisp, clean, summery, fresh scent to it. I've got to say the rain one to me smells like toilet cleaner. I really, really don't like it, but fragrance is always so, so personal. I really love the whole kind of vibe of these perfumes. I think they look very chic and kind of classic. So that is it for my new and beauty for this month. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited about. Um, if you're gonna buy anything or you, there's a particular release that's like really kind of made your ears prick up this month. I upload every Friday and Sunday, so make sure you come back on Sunday for a new video. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you very soon, guys. Bye.